For years, I've been using Vimeo to store my video reports up there in order for me to have an embed le link to my website so that the site remains light and loads faster. Imagine my surprise when I woke up Friday morning and checked my email and found a slew of notices from the mediators at Vimeo stating that my account had been canceled. When I went to log on to my Vimeo account to find out what was going on, this is the landing page it sent me to. Sorry, Level 9 News. Looks like your account has been disabled due to a violation of Vimeo's terms of service and or guidelines. So I followed the instructions on the previous page and this is where it brought me, where you can ask a question, which I did and received no response from them. So being very annoyed and persistent at this point, I went to their contact us link and this is what I got. Vimeo does not offer phone support. Why? Phone support requires substantial staffing expense and is not very efficient for the type of technical support we offer. So in other words, if you use the links they provide to ask a question or for technical support and they've deleted your account, you have no way of getting a hold of them. I went back to all the emails that they sent me to find out if any of those emails from the moderators could be replied to. And there was this email from a Scott T, Vimeo Trust and Safety, who indicated that video is committed to combating the spread of material that may misinform the public about ongoing novel coronavirus/COVID-19 outbreak. Due to the content volume and risk of public danger, we need to act quickly and will not be able to reconsider removal decisions at present. Currently, we are removing content that claims to offer cures, vaccinations, or remedies until such times these are proven. Or, I should add, unless you're promoting the vaccine agenda on their platform, then those videos can stay up. Those people who offer detection or prevention methods that are not recommended by the CDC or WHO solely aims to incite fear or panic. Well, isn't that the environment we've been living in with this whole pandemic mass hysteria for the last three or four months now? Anyone who claims the virus is a hoax or promotes various other conspiracy theories around the virus. It goes on to say, given the volume and nature of policy violations in your account, this was removed. Unfortunately, we aren't able to correspond further about this matter. We hope you understand. Well, no, Scott, I don't. So I wrote him back stating, you have disabled my account for Level 9 News. I received no notice, no explanation for this. So I don't know why my account was disabled. If you had a problem with one of my videos, I can understand removing that one production. But disabling my entire account, removing all of my access to other work I've posted seems punitive. I pay for your pro package and you have removed all access to it. I would like to request a download list of all my work I paid to have uploaded and I cannot do this on your site because my account, the entire account, has been disabled. It appears the new community guidelines they're referring to are new community guidelines that just went into effect. However, they made these guidelines retroactive. So if you posted anything on their platform that either questioned the COVID-19, that questioned the pandemic, that questioned the mitigation policies being used right now that are shutting down the country. They went back and accumulated all those strikes against you at once, and then boom, they just canceled your account. So did Scott T. ever respond to the email I sent him? No, he did not. In repeated attempts to contact them through email, asking them who determines what is false or misleading, all of my reports and reposts of other people's work 
of which there are only a few, are fully vetted and the research is documented. By not allowing discussions based on alternative information and allowing only one perspective on an issue or topic, informed discussions cannot occur. Is that your goal regarding new guidelines surrounding COVID and vaccines? If so, this is censorship. If so, why do you charge membership if you are the sole arbitrator of what we can publish? I look forward to your response. And this was their last and final response. Again, it was just a canned, here, take this plea. And they just went on to reiterate that your account has been removed by the Vimeo staff for violating our guidelines. And it's the same canned message that they've probably sent to everybody else who they, whose account they deleted over the past few days or the past week. Yet they say here, if you believe this was an error, please reply to this message as soon as possible to explain. And I've done, I did that several times. And they did not respond. They did not respond to the questions I brought up or even respond to which videos they claim violated the community standards. So how am I supposed to explain or defend my position when they won't even tell me which video it was or videos that they took down? And as you could see, that email came from Vimeo's legal department. So on this platform, if they decide to delete your account and all the content that you had stored up in their cloud, you have no resource. And to add insult to injury, they closed their final email to me stating, otherwise, we hope that you find a video platform better suited to your needs. So I hope this serves as a heads up to a lot of you out there who use the Vimeo platform to store your videos for your websites for the embed code that they provide to keep your site light and running faster. The end result of what they have done with no warning or no notice is they have crippled my site. Any of the videos that I had linked up there, this is what you get. I probably had anywhere from 130 to 160 video reports up there that are now, there's no the embed code linking to them is non-existent. I'm working diligently to get all this stuff put back up on the level nine news site. And as far as their snarky little remark, otherwise we hope that you find a video platform better suited to your needs. I have. Thank you very much, Vimeo. This is going to be a monumental task to get all this work, all these reports moved over to another platform. Hope you will bear with me and I hope those of you who do subscribe to Level 9 News will hang tight. I'm working on it. I'm working on it about 12 to 14 hours a day, but it is not a quick fix. Thank you for watching and please share this video.